advised. you take this hadith home with you tonight as you ponder the issues he said sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam bada'a al-islam gharibaan wa sayaudu gharibaan when islam began it was something strange and therefore different from everything else in the world and Islam will one day return to that state of being something strange and different from everything else in the world. And we are now living in this age in which Islam, not part-time Islam, we're talking about the Islam of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, that Islam. That Islam is becoming something stranger and stranger. Something different from the rest of the world. Different from that globalized political order. Different from that globalized world economy. Different from that globalized culture or way of life like a square peg in a round hole. Sometimes I worry about this country's attitude to Islamic people, but if you think they're bad, spare a thought for American Muslims. Yeah, well, one poll I saw found that 39% of Americans believe that Muslims should carry a special ID card that specifically identifies them as Muslim. Mm, but is that too extreme? Charles Firth hit the streets of America to see where they really stand when it comes to Muslims. Do you support the proposal for all US Muslims to carry a special ID card? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think they should. I think they should. Why? The, so they come over here with a weapon or something, that way we know who they are. After 9-11, unfortunately, things like that have to be, you know? Do you think US Muslims should also wear a badge with the word Muslim on it? I would say so. <laughs> so you recognize them, you yeah. Which Muslims should have a special security number tattooed on their arm? Only the evil Muslims, only Arab Muslims, or all Muslims? I'll say all of them. All of them have a security number tattooed on their arm. I think there should be something special, some special mark or something. Maybe a computer chip? Right, computer chip or something, that way they can't hide it. Yeah. Where it's close to their clothes or something. Would you support proposals for Muslims to be converted to Christianity, converted to Judaism, or incarcerated until the war is over? Incarcerate them until the war is over. Just convert some of them and uh, incarcerate them. Incarcerate some of them. Of course, uh, September 11th was a, and what happened was, um, of course, a very, very serious thing. Uh, I believe that it reveals the true colors of Islam. And um, we thought about what can we do to really show um, the dangers of what happened that day. And it's not only what happened that day, 
but actually what Islam does around the world. And we felt uh, learning the Quran uh, would be something of that magnitude. Listen, right? This is the Quran, right? This is full of shit. Right? We're going to burn this motherfucker right now. This is the one for the boys in Afghanistan, right? <laughs> We just don't talk about somebody's quote religion, even if the religion involves beheading infidels and pouring boiling oil down their throats. And when I heard about the 12 people that were dead, the first thing that crossed my mind was, this guy's a Muslim. Oh, well, guess what? He is. Do you afraid. think it's time for the military to have special debriefings of uh, Muslim army uh, civilian uh, officers, anybody enlisted? The people in the media are fundamentally on the, working for the other side. They may as well put on a uh, headscarf and start chanting to Allah themselves. We won't countenance special screenings for Muslim soldiers, will you? It's a violent political system bent on the overthrow of the governments of the world and, the, and, and world domination. All over the world, 85, 90 percent of all the violence and bloodshed is being perpetrated by the religion of peace. That's the truth. You're dealing with a, not a religion, you're dealing with a political system. And I think we should treat it as such and treat its adherents as such as we would members of the Communist Party or members of some fascist group. Maybe what Americans should do is broom the Muslims out of the, out of the military. Franklin Roosevelt, uh, he interned the, the Japanese on the West Coast. What FDR did, it worked. No, it wasn't hard to comprehend and it's not now. It was the act of an Islamist terrorist who gunned down 55 people, 54 people, yeah, because he believed he was doing the will of Allah in accordance with the Quran. Not hard to understand the evidence is there. Where are the Southern Baptist suicide bombers? Where are the Methodist marketplace massacre types? Uh, it's clear that the problem is Islam.